guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i am nonji malunga for those of you who do not know me and i'm finally off to taba eco hotel so i say finally because this place is literally always booked out i um, it's just like the rosemary hill where something gets like hyped up it's it will be booked out so i booked this place literally six weeks before um so the weekend has finally come so the vicinity has um the famous e bar it also has um, a spa as well as the crowd restaurant so it looks pretty good on pictures but hopefully when we actually get there um it lives up to our, our expectations so i think let me not waste any more time i'm gonna finish off packing and then we're gonna head off to taba eco hotel Okay, so we've put the destination on our phones and it's basically a 34 minute drive from where i am it's so crazy how everything is so far in Joburg. a 34 minute drive is basically pmb to durban so um we're gonna head off to the south and yeah Okay, so we finally here. Reception is literally behind my car, and it's so great to see like the change in scenery. We literally went from like the suburbs, city, all the houses to like nature. So we're just gonna check in, and then we're probably gonna go check out the. So we've checked in that was basically um the reception area so currently we are waiting to be escorted to our rooms it's currently three o'clock check-in was at two o'clock so i think they had like a wedding or something so um housekeeping is still busy and i feel like that's not on because what if we actually came here too then we would have waited for over an hour so we're currently just outside waiting for them to take us to our rooms but yeah it looks like there's a wedding here and somebody just got proposed to here um, it looks like you can do safari trips as well as picnics so it looks like there's actually a lot that you can do so they give you champagne while you wait which i guess is fine but it's not a real thing to So we finally made it into the room it is literally half past three now um, but i'm going to quickly show you a room to it it looks really really pretty um so this is where you enter this is the door so go up here and this is the door so we are on upper level but there's also lower level so as you enter you have the toilet the toilets are also boring and then on your right you have the bathroom so got the bathtub his and her sinks zinks got a full length mirror and then you got the shower and then you got robes his and her with some slippers and then you move on to this side we've got a full length mirror which is great and then you have the bed and then you have all these views it looks so great oh my gosh so i guess lower you'd also experience the same views but i just got up just in case so you have all the views and a balcony outside area 
so the nice thing about this place is that the price actually includes dinner and breakfast so dinner you have a thousand rand tab for two people as well as breakfast you have a 580 rand tab for two people so literally it's nice that you can pay everything once off and you don't have to think about paying they said the bar is also complimentary so um I'm gonna see what they have inside. They even literally have complimentary on the thing. Okay. So here it is. Um, how the hell are we supposed to open this thing? Wait, right, let me try open it. Okay, it's open now. Um, so everything in here is complimentary. So they've got chips. They've got chocolate sweets and cool drink and a beer. What is this? Hunter Dry? I like the Savannah rat though. And they also got wine. Oh, this is cute. So when I first booked, I did think this place was a bit overpriced, but now looking at all the things it comes with, I think it's it's worth it. Considering all the accommodation in South Africa and if you're trying to tour in South Africa, everything is already expensive. So because this place includes like dinner and breakfast and you have a tab and stuff like that i think it, it's quite great so they also give you this where it has um the trading hours of all the restaurants and bars in the vicinity as well as room service so we have a spa appointment booked for four o'clock so as i said it's half past three so we're just gonna chill out and then we will just walk up to the spa and yeah the other nice thing is that if you're coming for a specific reason like an anniversary or a birthday and stuff they actually have add-on packages that you can add on to like your stay here which is really great because they can you can really personalize your experience um, for whatever reason you're coming here for so so far i am really enjoying this place so it's four o'clock now the spa is at quarter past four. They said to be there 10 minutes before. So I'm gonna take a quick walk. So this is like lower and upper. I guess both still have the view. So we just finished with the spa and it was absolutely great. So the weather is hot outside but they had the aircon on blasting so it was totally relaxing. I had a CBD massage so my mood literally went from a 7 to a 2. So now we're just going to walk to the e-bar and check out what it's about. So this is basically the e-bar. Couldn't really take videos and pictures because the area is so small. So people will be like, why are you taking videos of us? Okay, so we've just gotten back to the room and they've basically done a turn down where they close all the curtains. These curtains are so, I hate these curtains. It reminds me of like boys bedding. Note I said boys because what the hell is this? I still want to see the view, so I'm gonna open it up a bit. Um, so it's now time for supper. So I had reserved 
a table at seven o'clock it's six o'clock now but i mean if supper is the same place as breakfast i'm thinking of just getting room service because i'm so exhausted i can't be around people and coming from the bar i went past the the restaurant and it is so full child all these people are gonna drain my energy okay so i'm just gonna check if it's the same area so supper and breakfast unfortunately has to be at the prowl restaurant if you got the if you included your meals in the package um you can't get room service room service will be additional so you have to have your meals at the crowd restaurant because apparently it's a buffet so even though it's really full day oh, i'm just gonna have to go and eat some food and then come back and rest so let us head off to the crowd restaurant The very next day i'm so tired i barely slept um i was basically researching for another trip and you know when you get into it, it's like you just don't want to stop until you've booked everything so i probably slept at like three looking at stuff and it's currently nine o'clock now so we're gonna head off to breakfast right now and um, yesterday just had supper then had all the drinks and then came back to sleep um and so today we're gonna have breakfast i think it's at the same restaurant the crawl restaurant and then we'll see what we do afterwards but i'm so tired i think i just want to sleep but i'm outside the room so here's the room and it looks like yeah is where they have the picnics I'm not sure but it's giving those vibes so if i was a real human maybe we'd go for a hike and just really be one with nature but i'm honestly not a real human so i'm just gonna finish off getting ready and then we will head off to breakfast one thing about these holidays you literally get here to do nothing and chill and look at the scenery um those are nature holidays literally it's spa scenery and nothing else i'm trying to think besides that like what's another holiday that would be nice if you're visiting locally i guess the bush is there then you see animals if not you're going to a city and that doesn't really feel like a holiday so this is it guys this people are literally at the e-bar already and it's 10 o'clock in the morning i'm so stressed for their lives as they say, it's 6 p.m. somewhere in the world. 